Hi, my name is not Tavarish and this is not my McLaren P1. <laughs> And I am Tavarish, and this is my McLaren P1. How you doing? All right, very good. <laughs> good to see you. Absolutely, man. So, the reason why we're here today is because you removed the EV drivetrain from your P1. I did, yes, yes. Uh, and it was a little bit controversial, yeah. uh, but I have some really good reasons for doing it. Uh, so, for those of you that don't know, this is a 2015 McLaren P1 that was in a very, very big flood. It was in a hurricane, in fact, and uh, I rescued it, and now I'm rebuilding it to make it even better than it was brand new. All right. And uh, the, the way I'm doing it is I'm removing all of the hybrid drive assembly. Ah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's your thing. Yeah. But the reason why I'm doing it is because with this car, I always thought that this car was gonna be the successor to the McLaren F1, which yes. was the fastest car in the world. It was light, it was powerful. And with this car, I understood that it was a technology powerhouse back in the day. 10 years ago. 10 years yes. ago. Um, Another technology for battery modules and the battery pack has changed so much. And this is yes. this, this something we discussed earlier yes. uh, off screen, is the technology is evolving so quickly. If you were you're redoing this mm -hmm. this year in two years time might be completely obsolete again. Exactly. So I totally understand your point. Mm -hmm. Now the real question, yes. when will you convert this to full electric? So <laughs> that's Unfortunately, that's never going to happen. Uh, because, <laughs> not this one. Yes, not 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 this one. Listen, if we find another P1, then maybe. Yeah. Sure. That's um, so fair. But uh, what I wanted to do with this car was, if we took out the batteries, which weigh something like 200 kilos, mm -hmm. uh, that's with the hybrid drive assembly and the e-motor, then uh, we just make this car way lighter, and then we put all that power back into the engine. So we double the horsepower of the engine, the internal combustion oh, engine. Sorry. And then, you know, we'll have the fastest and lightest McLaren P1 in the world. Yeah. Now, some people say that, oh, well, this car isn't, you know, you're, you're missing the soul of the car. But honestly, the e-motor only gave about 170 horsepower. Yeah. Like at, and, and that's not all the time. You know, the battery has to be charged. It has to be in a specific state of driving. So I feel like if we just added that back into the engine, we'll have that power all the time. Yeah. And if I wanted to do something that was, you know, like a new EV technology, then we can always do it with, you know, another car, maybe another McLaren, and then, you know, have that instant torque all yeah. the time. But yeah, the reason why I really wanted to discuss this with you is because there's, I think, a shift in mm -hmm. the way people perceive EV oh, yeah, and for hybrids sure. mm -hmm. uh, because people were mad you removed the electric drivetrain. And I'm not talking about people in the EV world. No. Just, you know, proper petrol heads yes. were you know, pissed <laughs> that you, yeah, you rid of, got rid of it. Yes. So, yeah, it's a very interesting time. So, when will this be completed, do you reckon? Uh, so, we're trying to have everything completed uh, within about, like, two or three months. Um, the thing that we're right now getting hung up on is the uh, entire wiring harness. So, yeah. uh, since the car was underwater, uh, the wiring harness, you know, it, it has a bunch of corrosion um, because of salt water. You know, salt water and copper, they don't, don't mix. They don't mix, yeah. Um, so, we had to rip out the entire wiring harness and and unfortunately, you can't really buy these things from McLaren. I mean, you, you can. They cost about $20,000, but it takes sometimes up to a year or more to get this. A special order. Yeah. yeah. And, and when, I have, when I have a car like this that I'm trying to rebuild on a YouTube channel, I can't just wait a year yeah. for a part. So we're going to make our own wiring harness. Yes. Yeah. Um, but not Which, only that, we're, you know, we're deleting the, uh, the EV stuff, but, and then we're adding in some other stuff, you know? But yeah, fantastic times. Uh, and I can't wait to see you drive this yes. but also i know you've talked to ben and you want ben to come and test it uh yes so will this be in the uk or will this be in, so in america we are the, the way that we're planning it right now um the, the person that's going to be driving this car and uh you know the the goal for this car is to have it be the fastest mclaren in the world so right now that's a mclaren speedtail which does have a hybrid drivetrain yeah. has a four liter and a, and a big battery that uh boosts it after like 200 miles an hour and that car can get to 250 miles an hour. Now, with this car being lighter and faster, hopefully it could it could do 260, maybe 270. And the person that we're going to have do it is Ben Collins, the former Top Gear Stig. Stig yeah. So yeah. All right. Um, talking about British people, uh, you're coming to the UK fairly soon, in about a month and a half. Yes. You will be attending the Petrol Hedonism Show. Yes. Where we have a selection of converted to electric uh, cars. Uh, so I can't wait to show those cars to you and mm -hmm. get your feedback and see if you like classic converted to EV. So I am a real 
fan of people thinking outside the box for a lot of uh, different car platforms. So if you see like, you know, an older car, but then you put like a modern EV drivetrain mm -hmm. and it has all the creature comforts, has AC and it has, <laughs> you know, Apple CarPlay and it's just a really nice place to be and you're not killing yourself driving in traffic or anything like that. I love stuff yeah. like that. Uh, one of my friends just bought a Tesla Model S for $17,000 wow. <laughs> and it is like the perfect daily driver. He has, you know, a commute that's about 30 or 35 miles every day. And, you know, that car, you never have to worry about gas because it has uh, free supercharging. Um, you know, it doesn't cost them anything to get here. It's a really nice place to be. It's uh, super quiet. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's a nice car to drive. Yeah. Um, so for that amount of money, I don't think you can find anything else in that space. Um, but in terms of, like, performance cars, like, my, my brain, <laughs> my, bra my brain still hasn't switched over. I still like the roar of a V8 or a V12 or a V10 or yeah. something like that. So, you know, in my mind, I, it's still has to have that certain internal combustion thing but i'm sure with time you know that that could change all right i can't wait to maybe text you on an electric car when you visit the uk mm -hmm. or maybe here uh, there's a new tesla model 3 uh, plaid coming Ooh. so maybe something you want to uh try uh, oh, absolutely. In, in the near future. So the thing about the, the Plaid <laughs> is uh, one of my friends had one and we, we took it down to uh, this uh, runway and we just did run after run. We just kept on launching it. Yeah. And then after a while, like we're, we're just driving home like, I don't feel so good because oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, all your yeah, organs it, get rearranged. Yeah. It's so fast. It's so incredibly fast. Yeah. If people think that they know what a fast car is, you don't <laughs> un until you've been yeah. in this car. It's like a real like, like drag a drag store. Yeah. 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 All right, fantastic. Uh, thank you again for having us. I uh, look forward to seeing you at Petrol Hedonism. Yes. And uh, I'll take you for a spin. Awesome, <laughs> man. Right. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you.